This video, like a reliable Christmas cracker, is split into two. The second half contains the bad joke, and the first half has the little paper crown in. I wonder what's in Faroese crackers? Somebody write in! Anyway, let's start by looking at Klaxwig's ongoing European campaign in a conference league. As a reminder, their group is Slovan Bratislava, Lille and Olympia Ljubljana, who they played in that order. Away against Slovan Bratislava, Denny Pavlovic put Klagswick ahead and on for a monumental win, but two goals, one of which came from former Bolton Wanderers megastar Vladimir Weiss, swung the game the other way. A brave fight for the first game, but then a truly momentous moment, if indeed there's any other type of moment, probably the best nil-nil in history, as they scored the Faroe Islands' first ever point in a European group, against Lille no less, who are currently fourth in Ligue 1 which I think, technically, makes Klaxwick the fifth best team in France. If you speak French, then please enjoy Dropsizzi's 40 minute video where he travelled to Tortfala to watch the game. I do not speak French, so I do not know what he thought of it. But the video is certainly bien. And with the nil-nil behind us, we barely had time to reassemble our blown minds before Olympia Ljubljana came to the islands and were pulled apart like margarine scaffolding. René Jonsson opened the scoring, and suitably for spooky season, the tunnels around Klaxwick are said to be haunted, but the only screams in town on Thursday were screams of delight, as Paul Kletzgaard had the place bouncing with the second goal just before half-time. And before you could say Kjeje Letta Lysiče, Jakob Andreasen had Klaxwick 3-0 up to a bewildered but emotional crowd. Absolute heroics. What's the Faroese word for heroes? Four points from three games from these hedges, and the group is wide open. But because football is always a balance of good times and bad times, we must now turn our attention to Euro qualifiers. If you go back over 15 years to Euro 2008 qualifying, we find a truly miserable campaign of 12 games, 12 defeats, and no points. And if it wasn't for a 1-1 draw against Moldova, that is what we'd be facing again, as this disappointing qualifying campaign comes to a close. Unless something miraculous happens away against group leaders Albania, it'll be the Faroe's worst European qualifying since that washout in 2008. Now I'll admit to being a bit caught out here, I had Albania and Moldova down as potential games where some healthy points could be scored, but in truth, they've been very strong sides, as seen by Albania being top and yet to concede a goal at home, and Moldova beating Poland and drawing with the Czechs. But like a good battery, there's always one positive, and I think it's in defence, where we've only conceded 13 goals in 7 games. That's nearly two a game, you might say. Well, yes, that's true, but let's look again at that 2008 qualifying, where we played 12 games and conceded 43 goals, which is approaching nearly four a game. In 2020, it was three a game, conceding 30 in 10, so actually conceding only 13 is a significant improvement at the back. Concede two or fewer against group leaders Albania in the final match, and it'll be the lowest goals conceded of all time, which is currently 16 in 10 from the wonderful 9-point 2018 World Cup campaign. The problem now is scoring goals. Just two to celebrate this campaign. Failure to score against Albania would result in the lowest goal scoring return in any Faroe Islands Euro qualifying campaign, and the second lowest on record, going back to the single goal scored in qualifying for the 1994 World Cup. Uniaya getting a consolation against Cyprus, as we all remember. On paper, their last two scores look a little weak. A 2-0 loss, a 1-0 loss, and no goals scored in four. But hold on, that's 2-0 to 30th ranked Poland, where the Faroes finished with 10 men, by the way, and 1-0 to 37th ranked Czech Republic, and that was a penalty. The Czechs had 29 shots, and B36's goalie Lamaga had them all under control. He was so imperious in goal, they had to put the ball down away from everybody else and just kick it at him. This is what makes it disappointing, we're actually coming close to getting points against teams ranked about 70 places above us and we're just falling short. We're on the very edge of greatness. The Klagswick team are putting the Pharaohs on the map domestically and people are starting to sit up and take notice and our small defeats to much better opponents is a building block for the next World Cup qualifying. I'll be back later in the year to go over the last couple of internationals, Klagswick's return games in the Conference League and run through the last third of the Domestic League, because with just one game to go, neither relegation nor European places are decided. It's a grandstand finish. Well done Klagswick on an incredible showing so far in the group stage, you're doing us proud. Thank for watching and have an excellence whatever it is you do. See you next time.